All right, so we're back and uh, got it all put together now. Uh, went really easy. Um, super simple, man. A anyone can do that. It's like one bolt. It's ridiculous. Anyhow, so what I did is I uh, took my uh, buttstock off you saw, and uh, I had this uh, field and stream, you know, little uh, nylon elastic shell holder. So what I did is I just cut it up, sealed the edges a little bit with a lighter, and uh, stuck some Velcro on there. It's just temporary right now, and uh, until I get another one of those that will mount on the side but this will work for now I'll hold me a extra five rounds I'll just stick right on there push it down make sure it's snug right I'm not going anywhere of course That'll work out all right. Um, the stock, you know, I, I'm not super happy with, you know, the way that it lines up here or along this edge, especially on this other side. You know, uh, I don't know if you can really see that, but it's pretty, pretty good size, you know, gap and stuff right in there. So... I'm, I'm not really happy the way that it lined up exactly. Maybe they should make their tolerances a little bit tighter. I understand it's for, you know, a bunch of different guns. Uh, comes with adapters and uh, other bolts. You know, um, that you can put in spacer adapters. Uh, a couple extra bolts. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, there it is. Um, you know, and, and the bolt for, for this uh, Mossberg. But yeah, I don't know. I, we'll see how it shoots, you know. Uh, I mainly got this for um, close quarters, you know. Uh, it, it, it rests right next to my bed, uh, next to my 9mm. And, um, you know, so if we're trying to clear a room or, you know, move through a building or urban environment, um, this is definitely, you know, something that is good because I, I can get through a door a little bit easier. Um, but then I still have the capability, you know, of, uh, you know, having the, the shoulder there. You know, no real padding here though. It's like just ABS plastic. So we'll see how it feels when we shoot it. Um, you know, compared to the stock, you know, factory that came on it, it's got this big rubber pad back here. Um, you know, fairly comfortable to shoot for me. Um, my wife, on the other hand, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> because, you know, th this is the gun that, you know, shit hits fan, this is what she'll be packing. Because I'll be rocking the AK. Which I'll show you guys in another video. But yeah, I I'm fairly happy with it. You know. Oh yeah, for all you safety nuts out there, you know. Yeah, I don't work on a loaded weapon. I don't film a loaded weapon. Uh, it's on safety right now. Empty. So it is safety checked. I safety check every weapon. Um, you know, something else I might do a little bit is, uh, change this light out 
Uh, I do have a pressure switch for it, you know, that I can run down. Um, just not really sure yet what I want to do. You know, I uh, it's got the red dot on it. Um, and then it's got the LED, and then it's got LED with the red dot in the middle. Can't really see that, but there you go on, on Zappa. But yeah, I think I might put the pressure switch on, see how that works out. Um, I don't know. Talk about ammo real quick with you guys. You know, what I like to run. Uh, in this is um, this Remington Ultimate Home Defense round. Some good, good ammo. You know, I, I would definitely recommend this um, for running in your house. It's a two and three quarter, but it's a yeah, it's a good round for sure. And the other thing I run, you know, is a good old standby. Uh, Super X, two and three quarter inch, double lot, nine pellet. Yeah. Don't need to say any more. Because if you're coming into my house, sorry. Alright, YouTubers, Trevors, thanks for watching. Green Neck Dirt, and uh, we'll stick up something else a little bit later.